Hello friends. In this video, I'm going to share a trick to solve time and distance problems. Okay, so the trick to solve these problems is very easy. We have to just assume the quantity that is not given. Okay, and we assume this quantity by taking the LCM, or sometimes we call it the LCM method. Okay, our second step would be the find to find the relation between the assumed quantity and the given quantity. Okay, then we can easily find out the original quantity that we are asked to calculate. Okay, so we will solve some problems which can be easily solved by this trick. Okay, let's solve some problems. So friends, here is the first question. Peter can cover a certain distance in one hour twenty-four minute by covering two thirds of the distance at a speed of four kilometer per hour and the rest at five kilometer per hour. Find the total distance. Okay. So here Peter covers two thirds of the distance at a speed of four kilometer per hour. Okay. And the remaining that is one third at a speed of five kilometer per hour. Okay. So we have to calculate the total distance. Okay. So we are given the speeds and the ratio of distances. Okay. So whatever we are given, we will take the LCM. LCM of two three is six. LCM of one three is three. LCM of four by five is four over five is twenty. So LCM of total six three and twenty is sixty. Okay. And we assume this number as the total distance. Okay. So here total time is equal to one hour twenty four minute. Okay. So here two third of the distance, two third of the distance is covered at a speed of four. And the remaining that is one by third of the distance is covered at a speed of five, and the total time taken is one hour twenty four minute. Convert this twenty four minute in hour by divided by sixty. Okay, it will become two four ja and ten two two ja four two two five ja ten. It is equal to seven by five. Okay, and two third of sixty is twenty forty by four plus twenty by five. Okay. If we take LCM of four five is twenty four five is twenty two hundred plus four two is eight eighty equal to seven by five. Okay, so it will become two eighty by twenty equal to seven by five. Okay, five four is twenty four seven is twenty eight. Okay, seven one is so value of one is equal to one by ten. Okay, but we have assumed sixty as the total number total distance. So the value of sixty would be 60 by 10 is equal to 6 kilometer. So 6 kilometer is the final distance. Okay. So friends, it is the easiest method. We will solve some more problems. Okay. So friends, here is the second question. Walking at 5 by 6 of its usual speed, a train is 10 minutes too late. Find its usual time to cover the journey. Okay. So when train travels 5 by 6 of its usual speed, it's 2 minutes late. Just 10 minutes too late. Okay. So We have to find the usual time taken by the train. Okay, so here five by six is the ratio of speed. Okay, if we take LCM of five six, it's thirty, and we assume this number as the speed. Okay, but distance is also not given, and we have to we have to assume the distance. Okay, and it should be multiple of thirty. Okay, we can take sixty, ninety, and one twenty, whatever we want. Okay, because it makes our calculation easy. Okay, so of a So, if we assume 60 as the distance and 30 is the speed, our usual time taken is 2 hour. Okay, usual time taken is 2 hour according to our assumptions. But we have to find the relation between the assumed quantity and the given quantity. Okay, so total distance is 60. When train travels 5 by 6 of its usual speed, that is 30, there is a difference of 10 min 10 minutes. Okay, so it's 30 is equal to 10 minutes. Okay, 5 6 is. 60 by 25 minus 60 by 30 equal to 10. Okay, take 60 common, and if we take 25 into 30, 25 into 30, it will become 5. 5 5 ja, 2 2 ja, 30 2 ja, return. So 2 5 ja. So the value of 1 is equal to 25. Okay, so the value of 1 point is equal to 25. So 2 hour is the usual time taken. Okay. So value of two would be twenty-five into two, fifty. So fifty minute is the final answer. Okay. So because our according to our assumption, two hour is the time taken, usual time taken. Okay. But we have find the value of one point is equal to twenty-five point, twenty-five point. So the value of two point is equal to fifty minutes. Okay. So it is the final answer. Okay. Let's move to the next question. So friend, here is the third question. 
If a man walks at a speed of 5 km per hour, he misses a train by 7 minutes. However, if he walks at a rate of 6 km per hour, then he reaches the station 5 minutes before the arrival of time. Okay. Find the distance covered by him to reach the station. Okay. So when a man travels at a speed of 5 km per hour, he is 7 minutes late. Okay. When he travels at a rate of 6 km per hour, he is 5 minutes earlier. So we have to calculate the total distance travelled by him to reach the station. Okay. So speeds are given 5 km per hour and 6 km per hour. Okay. So if we take LCM of 5 and 6, we get 30 and we assume this number as the total distance. Okay. And there is a difference of difference in time when he travels at different different speeds. That is, when he travels at a rate of five km per hour, it is seven minutes late. Okay, seven minutes late. And when he travels at a speed of six km per hour, it is five minutes earlier. So difference is five minus minus seven. It's twelve minutes. Okay. So distance is thirty. Okay. When he travels at a rate of five km per hour, and the same distance when he travels at the rate of six km per hour. The difference of time is 12 minutes. Okay, divide 12 minutes by if you convert it into R, divide it by 60. Okay, so take 30 common, we will get 1 by 5 into 6. It's 5. Okay, so it will be 1 by 5. 12, 5 to 60. So 5, 6, 30, 5, 5, cancel. So the value of 1 is equal to 1 by 5. Okay, but we have assumed 30 as the total distance. So our assumed value was 30. So the value of 30 would be 30 by 5. It's 6. So 6 kilometer is the final answer. Okay, so friends, it is easy when only speed is given. We just take the LCM of speeds. We, we assume this number as the total distance. Okay, now we can calculate whatever we want. Okay, so let's move to the next question. So friends, here is the fourth question. A can complete a journey in 10 hours. Okay. He travels first half of the journey at a rate of 21 km per hour and the second half at the rate of 24 km per hour. Find the total journey in km. Okay. So A travels first half at a rate of 21 km per hour. Okay. And the remaining next half at a rate of 24 km per hour. Okay. So if we take LCM of these speeds, Okay, that is 7, 3, 8, 21, 8, 3, 8, 24, it, it is 56 into 3, that is 6, 3, 18, 3, 15, 16, 168. And we assume this number as the total distance, okay, total distance, total distance, okay. So here total time taken is 10 hours, okay. If it travels first half, that is first half is 84 at a speed of 21 and the remaining next half is also 84 travels at a speed of 24 km the total time taken is 10 hours okay 21 4 ja 6 4 ja 24 6 1 ja 6 6 4 ja 24 7 by 2 okay 4 2 ja 8 8 plus 7 15 by 2 equal to 10 so 15 equal to 20 so the value of 1 is equal to 4 5 ja 20 5 4 ja 20 5, 3, 15. Value of 1 is equal to 4 by 3. So the our our total distance is 168. Okay. So the value of 168 uh, multiplied by 168. It is 135 by 15. 3, 6, 18. 56 into 4. 4, 6, 8, 24. 5, 4, 8, 20. 2, 2, 4. So 2, 2, 4 is the total distance in kilometer. Okay. Mm -hmm. He travels first half at a speed of 21 and the remaining next half at a speed of 24. And it takes total time 10 hour. Okay. So we have assumed total distance by taking the LCM of speeds okay so and total time taken is 10 and 1 point is equal to 4 by 3 and the value of 168 point is 2 to 4 so it is the final answer okay so let's move to the last question okay friends so friends here is the fifth and the last question A is twice as fast as B and B is thrice as fast as C is the journey covered by C is one and a half hour will be covered by A in okay so we have to calculate in how much time A will, A will cover the same distance as covered by C in one and a half hour okay so let's take C's speed is x okay so B's speed would be thrice of x because B is thrice as fast as C is okay so A's speed would be 6x A is twice as fast as B is Okay, so we have found out the 
speeds of the ABC. Okay, so if we take LCM of these speeds, we get a number that, and we assume this number as the total distance. Okay, the LCM of six x, three x, and x would be six x, and we assume this number as the total distance. Okay, but in the question it is given total time taken by C is one and a half hour. Okay, and we can easily find find out the time taken by A. Okay. So total time taken is six x. Okay, and C J speed is x. Distance by speed equal to time taken. It is three by two. It is given in the question. So x x cancel. The value of two one is equal to one by four. So the value of one is equal to one by four. Okay. So we have to find out the time taken by A. Okay. So time taken by A would be total distance is six x and A J speed is six x. Okay, one. Okay, so the value of one is one by four. Okay, so it's one by four is fifteen minutes. Okay, so it is the final answer. Okay, so friends, these are the problems which can be easily solved by this trick. Okay, in time and distance topic. Okay, so friends, thank you for watching the video and please subscribe and comment if you really like my videos. Thank you.